Star Wars versus Marvel, which Disney franchise is better? I was really going to do this before, then I figured out about Comic Con and the fact that they released a trailer. We're going to release a trailer for Star Wars, the Star Wars, uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi later, but then they did. So I figured I'd express my thoughts on Marvel vs. Star Wars. Marvel if I had a rocky start, well, I think Star Wars has been pretty solid. For the most part, Marvel's been downhill ever since the first film in Iron Man, and that wasn't even when they were with Disney. 2014 it got better with Doctor Strange, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Where is it? I'm trying to remember what the franchise is actually like. Star Wars, Guardians of the Galaxy. Doctor Strange, Iron Man, uh, I like what I saw from Black Panther, played Avengers 2, one of like Avengers 1, not a fan of the Avengers or Captain America franchises, and 4 is god awful, uh, so many plot holes, so many known characters, I don't know why anybody likes that stuff, with there being a movie set back in box office, I'm totally imagining the franchises to get ruined. Taking a risk, we'll see what happened. Went to be a payoff, I liked Marvel recently. Another problem, there's been a lot of criticism over The Force Awakens and Rogue One. There's prequels, but those are on Disney. Let's concentrate on Rogue One and Force Awakens. The Force Awakens, I just didn't think was as good as the original Star Wars trilogy, way above better than prequels. Obviously, it's a movie franchise. Obviously, it's a movie. That's good. It's not that great. It's sort of like Blade Runner 2049 that recently came out. Some people thought Ray is Mary Sewish, but what she is is the Force. The Force isn't tangible stuff. It is. Something that you believe, but every religion is. And when you have the power of that, that's pretty cool. The Rogue One issue people have with is that they don't think it has a plot and likable characters or arcs. I pretty much disagree with that. I think pretty much everyone's likable. They have a good story, they have a payoff. Um, except for the main character. And I sort of understand why, because when I watched the first 30 minutes of that film, that was really bad too. Too much like Reservoir Dogs, too much, or too much like Inglorious Bastards, except without the cinematic violence and stuff. Like, you don't see anything. And it's not as cool. And it's not been done between Tarantino. Not done by Tarantino. I also see that there's this controversy over them writing more female parts. And the parts they wrote for Jin Erso just weren't that good. Feel fortunate. Otherwise, obviously, K2SO, everybody loves. Great character. I did some character analyses and some little stuff. Some little analyses with that character. Uh, the assassin guy, very good. Had a dark story. Tries to see the rolling end and that pays off. Obviously, Ray is better than the female character in the end. I don't know, maybe it was alright, she'd be alright, but they didn't show any of the scenes with her. And since they had so many movies to make for Disney, and. Obviously, it's not episode 7 or episode 8, like, they're not going to concentrate on it. But on our really like Star Wars so far, they've had solid films, nothing I think I would consider terrible. Like these people who hate 
Rogue One or Force Awakens, like Thor, like Avengers, and those are absolutely awful movies storyline wise. They look prettier than like the '90s Marvel films, but like they're just bad character wise, bad plot wise, a lot of leaks. I don't understand how you can criticize Star Wars that much just because it's on a higher pedestal and not enjoy Marvel that much when they had so many so-so movies.